friends, I am Vishisht and today in this video we are going to discuss the cell structure and the various cell organelles. So let's start. So I will start from the cell wall. It provides integrity to the cell and forms the outermost layer of the cell. It is made up of peptidoglycans in prokaryotic cell and is made up of cellulose in plant cells. However, it is absent in the animal cells. As you can see over here, this is a prokaryotic cell in which a cell wall is present. However, in an animal cell, the cell wall is absent. So, the next one is the cell membrane. It is also known as the plasma membrane. It is made up of phospholipids in prokaryotic cell and isolates the cell contents from the outer environment. It is also semi-permeable which means that it only allows the entry and exit of some substances. The next one is the cytoplasm. It is the fluid content inside the cell which consists of each and every membrane bound organelle. The next is the protoplasm which constitutes the cytoplasm, the nucleus and each and every membrane bound organelle. The next one is the endoplasmic reticulum. As you can see here, it starts from the nuclear membrane and extends into the cytoplasm. They are mainly involved in the synthesis and folding, modification and transport of proteins. The endoplasmic reticulum is of two types, the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. This one is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. It is the site of protein synthesis and consists of ribosomes. On the other hand, this is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum which lacks ribosomes and is the site for lipid synthesis. It also helps in detoxification of poisons. Now comes the ribosomes. They are either free or in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. They are the sites for protein manufacture. They are found in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. They are complex of RNA which is ribonucleic acid and proteins. Now comes the Golgi apparatus. It was first discovered by Camillo Golgi in 1898. It consists of sacs or flat discs known as cisternae. Each sac is parallel to each other. It helps in packaging and storing products received from the endoplasmic reticulum and also remains in association with the endoplasmic reticulum. The next one is the lysosome. It consists of digestive enzymes manufactured in the RER. They are also known as the suicide bags or the waste disposal systems of the cells. Now comes the mitochondria. It is also known as the powerhouse of the cell. It produces energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate or ATP. ATP is also referred as the energy currency of the cell. The mitochondria possesses two membranes or double membranes. The compartment enclosed by the inner membrane is known as matrix and it also possesses its own DNA and ribosomes. My next video will be a detailed video on the nucleus of the cell. So now it is time for the info box. Today's info box is that do you know the smallest cell is the mycoplasma and the largest cell is the ostrich egg. Now I will be asking a question from all of you. Do you know which is the longest cell? Do let me know in the comment section below. Till my next video, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy and easy learn with Vishisht. Thank you.